So this is one of my companions, Thor, and a few weeks ago he was literally dying. Uh, this video is about something I built that saved his life. So, hope you guys will stick around. So, what happened with Thor about a month ago is he couldn't keep any food down. Um, anything he ate, food, water, it would just come right back up. And so, of course, we took him to the vet, got x rays done, and it seemed that he had gotten some pneumonia uh, from and the regurgitation was going back into his lungs. So we got some medicine for that. But uh, other than that, the vet was not really sure. I uh, gave him some other medication, uh, thought that he might have a digestive issue, maybe swallowed something, and we went on our way. Well, a few days later, he's still doing the exact same thing. Can't keep anything down. So she recommended us to go to a specialist. Once we got there, Lucky for us, the specialist recognized it for what it was. And Thor was diagnosed with something called mega esophagus, which basically is his throat muscles really no longer working. So whenever he's trying to swallow, uh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's an expansion of his throat. He swallows it, the food, water, it stays in his throat, and then eventually it regurgitates back out. So we were thinking he was throwing up and vomiting, where it was actually just a regurgitation where the food never ever got down to where it needed to be. So with that, uh, we start doing our research and how we can uh, figure out this situation and keep Thor around for a lot longer. And lucky for us, we found something online called a Bailey chair. Now a Bailey chair essentially takes the dog, sits them straight up and down, where now you feed them and you allow gravity to take its course and push the food down so they, uh, the throat muscles are lo no longer necessary. It's a chore, it takes a while, but uh, also the chair itself, if you buy one online, it costs about $300, and that's a bit out of our budget, so I had some scrap wood, I thought I could make one, and I took about an hour, two hours, and I put one together really quick, and uh, this is what my Bailey chair looks like. Here is the chair in all of its glory. It looks horrible, it looks ugly, but you know what, it works. So what I did was uh, I created this chair right around this, this little seat I, I found in my sister's shed uh, that one of her daughters used to have because uh, Thor has problems with his hips and I wanted to make it very comfortable for him. So I built this whole chair basically around that. Uh, that way he has somewhere to sit, it's not gonna hurt him too much. And from there I just kind of threw pillows in Right in here, as you can see, these are just pillows with a sheet covering it. Now, I haven't had a lot of time to really kind of build this up the way that I want to because I've been working a lot, you know how it works. But I would like to pad this up uh, with some other foam and uh, that way I don't have to uh, rely so much on pillows just kind of sagging over there. But the main thing is that it's comfortable for him. You know, I don't care that it looks ugly, but it works. So let's get him in his chair. So here is what I feed Thor. First, we give him a can of uh, this kind of a wet dog food. Uh, in this case, it's a beef and a rice dinner or a chicken and a rice entree. Take one can, throw it in a blender. Take this puppy chow, about a handful, throw that in a blender. Then we fill this back up with water, full can. Throw that in a blender. And a few times a week, we'll even put a couple of these little pills in here. Now, this is for his jo joints. He's an older rot, and if you know anything about rots, they have some problems with their hips, hip dysplasia, things like that, and that seems to help out a lot. So we blend that all up, put it in a bowl, and that's what we feed him. Now, one of our issues is we gotta make sure that he's getting enough water because he has issues with water the same as he does with food. He'll drink it up, and it regurgitates right back out. So one thing that we do is we make a jello formula for him. Now we take some unflavored gelatin, Mix that with some chicken broth. And at each feeding, we give him about half of this right here. So that helps get a little bit more water into him. And, and that, that helps him throughout the day so he doesn't have to drink as much. Thor. 
Atta boy. Turn around. That's it. Back up. Back up. That's it. There we go. And sit. Sit. Good boy. Sure That's it. You ready? Ready and up. There we go. That's it. Now, this is a very messy process, and you'll see that in a second. So, put a towel here, and I'll probably even have to clean him up a little bit after this, but kind of keeps it off the floor a little bit. So, here we go. Ready, bud? Big guy. And I kind of take it away from him. Because you'll see that it takes a little bit of work for him to get down and he'll kind of clinch up a little bit every now and then, which you might see here. She isn't doing it yet, which is surprising. Usually he can get a few laps down and then Kind of takes that work to get that down his throat. He's doing good today. But you kind of have to imagine that it's not so much him swallowing, it's just allowing gravity to really kind of push that down, which is why we kind of keep it wet. It seems to be a little bit easier for him if the uh, food is really wet for it to slide down a bit easier. Okay, so now we're feeding the jello. Like I said, this is mainly to keep, kind of help him keep hydrated and everything. And they come in squares, and I can hold one at a time. He seems to like them pretty good because it's got that chicken broth in it. We always feed these last, figure to kind of help push the rest of it down a little bit. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it for the feeding. <clears throat> now I'm just going to kind of wipe him a little bit. And with this chair, it doesn't push him back all the way that we necessarily really like. So now we're going to put a pillow kind of in the front of him. It's going to make him sit up a little bit straighter. Yep. There we go. Just like that. But at least it kind of makes it comfortable. He's got the pillows here and on the back as well. But this does kind of get warm. So we have a fan for him right here. And we put that on him so it helps him out a little bit. And Thor really doesn't like to sit in a chair by himself. So this is why we have this chair here. 
and we can pretty much just sit with him for the next 20 minutes. Now 20 minutes seems to be pretty good for Thor. We tried to do a little bit lower and uh, he did regurgitate a bit, but uh, uh, 30 minutes, I don't think we need to keep him there that long, but 20 minutes seems to be pretty good for him. So now I sit here for 20 minutes and let it all sink down and then we take him outside immediately so he can do his business. So this is really essentially uh, the Bailey chair that I made. Now, uh, underneath is just a bunch of wood. So as I said before, I really built this chair around this piece right here and it's dirty at this point, so apologize for that. But this little chair right here that was uh, my sister's kid's chair, my uh, niece's, um, they had it in storage. Uh, it was just kind of sitting there and it's really padded uh, pretty amazingly. So I decided to build the whole chair around this. That way Thor, who has issues with his hips and legs right now because he is an older Rottweiler, I uh, decided that this would work out well where he could sit on something and at least be somewhat comfortable. So I built the whole chair around this. So this is really where my measurements came from. Aside from that, it's a bunch of pillows. I, that way it kind of uh, holds his body in. It's, it's a little bit comfortable for him as much as it can be and uh, so that's all I have there. And this is the bones of the chair. As you can see, it's just some plywood. And what I did do is I kind of rounded the edges a little bit with the router to make sure that uh, there's gonna be no pieces that were gonna hurt uh, my poor little Thor. And as we can see from the side, this is really what it looks like. As far as measurements, like I said, I didn't go off of anything online, but this looks about 18 and a half inches that I made that. The height, the height of the chair is about 27 inches there. And uh, across the front or the back, depending how you look at it, is about 16 inches. Like I said, I based it all off of that. Like I said, I based it all off that chair. Now here is something that I decided to do. Now I may end up changing this later because I don't like how this sticks out or anything. I'm, I'm very careful with Thor as I set him back down because I don't want him to hit his head on these. But this made it easier for me to adjust the height at which I wanted this. I simply have a couple screws in here. And when I put Thor in this chair before, you can see that I actually have a couple holes up here much higher. And that's where I originally had it. But because of uh, where his uh, legs were and everything, I was able to kind of adjust this just by moving these down. I'd make a mark, move it down, make a mark, move it down, and figure out where uh, this really needed to be for Thor's height. The other part, last part I should say, is I used a piece of three inch PVC pipe. And this just sits right down in here. Now this is just some uh, tape that I had left over. You can use duct tape or whatever. I think uh, painter's tape was what I found immediately. And I just made this so it's not going to uh, get past the edge and Thor fall out or anything like that. So I wanna make sure that that was safe that way. But essentially, this is the chair. This is the Bailey chair that was actually named after uh, a dog that had this, uh, this uh, disease or affliction, uh, not really sure what you, what you call it. I'm not an expert on mega esophagus, but uh, a dog named Bailey had it and this chair was named after him. So um, that's my Bailey chair. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe. And if you'd like to see a little bit more about Thor, uh, let me know. Uh, also, if you know anything more than I know about mega esophagus, I'd love to hear it in the comments section. Tell me what you know. Tell me your experiences. Uh, until next time, see y'all later.